بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ اوریکل کلاؤڈ وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ وی کین کریٹ اوریکل ایپیکس انسٹنس یوزنگ اوریکل کلاؤڈ آٹونومس ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ اٹ مائی ٹیک ٹو اور تھری منٹس ٹو گیٹ ریڈی ود اوریکل ایپیکس انسٹنس اینڈ وی کین اسٹارٹ ڈیولپمنٹ لیٹس پروسیڈ ود اور کلاؤڈ اکاؤنٹ اینڈ وی ول کریٹ اوور دیئر Okay, this is my account, uh, Oracle Cloud, right? I just logged in over here. Uh, there are multiple places from where you can go to the Apex. One is this one. Another one, you can go on this side, Developer Services. And here you have Application Development, right? So let us click here. It will show you the existing uh, instance, if any, I have one. So if you see here, The limitation of free, always free, is let's say for example you will have single CPU and storage maximum 20 GB. This is the limitation, right? Okay, create Apex service. So <clears throat> it will ask few questions. So here you can say the uh, display name if you want. So let's say for example Apex demo. I'm just putting over there and same I will put it over here Apex underscore demo must letters and so I can put it over there that's it okay configure the service show only always free so if if since it is enabled so other options are not there if I will just enable this you can uh, buy the account services further uh, by upgrading the account this is free to your account so you will not have all the options so here we have you can choose the database 21c let's say for example i'm just selecting over here service can be 21 it cannot currently be upgraded to paid instance right so this is another limitation if you will go with 21c you can't update to the paid instance right anyway uh, since it's a demo we can proceed okay uh, <clears throat> this is uh, a read only now i can't change this is the limitation over here so Since we, it is a free, so we can't expand much. And this is the uh, storage limitation, 20 GB, right? Cannot be adjusted. You can't increase, unfortunately. Okay, this is a create administrator account. So this is admin. And I will be entering one password over here. Uh, I'm just putting Apex. Four, five, six, seven. No, I think I will put one Apex A capital, P-E-X underscore one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Apex underscore up to seven, right? So again, A small, P-E-X underscore one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it needs 12 digits or something like that, 12 characters. Okay, choose network access, so secure from any everywhere, secure So I'm selecting the first one by default, not changing anything. And provide contracts operation notifications. I'm entering my email over here. Uh, show advanced option if you want to proceed with the show advanced option. Nothing to do. And create service, right? So what I did, I did nothing much over here. You can just select over here. I just select this uh, route. Uh, this is the name. Even you don't want to change. You You can keep the same, but uh, this will come in the uh, URL over here. So better to keep the friendly name which you want to show in your URL as well, right? And nothing else, just uh, password twice I typed and I will click create Apex service, right? Nothing else I did. I will close this. I remember it. So it is provisioning at the moment if you see here and uh, here it will show you all the details about your instance uh, in a while more information will be displayed over here you can have tags created by this and defined tags and here database is this so let me click this just to see this is the database details right database action 
so again I am coming over here so if you see here you can see here it is saying provisioning always free right 20 GB the only issue is it has this um, OCPU restriction and secondly you can't expand it further until you will not purchase the additional services okay so let us refresh it takes uh, approximately one to two minutes it is still provisioning let us go inside it is provisioning and by the way at the end it will send you all the details on your provided email um, which you can further use so here it is instance type is free upgrade to the paid you can upgrade and let us keep refreshing uh, meanwhile until it is not provisioned let me show you uh, my portal erpstuff.com which is oracle related discussion community forum it is since 2006 so you can always visit here you can see on the oracle ebs uh, topics over here then you can have oracle apex over here as well right oracle cloud and all different topics are covered over here you can and we have a whatsapp community as well for our, the discussions and quick solutions so if you see here uh, almost daily certain topics are added over here and you can get reference from here sometimes you need a code you can come over here and it's erpstuff.com and let me check if it is provisioned or not yet ideally it should be still provisioning see auto scaling is disabled because since it is free account and this limitation is there auto scaling is disabled so in case of uh, something need to add it will not add let's say any memory or hard disk or anything license time license is included last automatic backup there is no backup at the moment status disabled data guard is not there it is disabled dedicated infrastructure no maintenance patch level regular so this is since it is free so oracle will do the way they want to do and let us see still provisioning I think it will take two to three minutes tags and you can have different here you can see the backups autonomous data guard if it is there work request and the performance of your instance over here database action here you will have the database action once the database is up are open it you will be able to see here from here you can start stop and you know when it is not in use you can stop the database and let us refresh again it is not correct provisioning provisioning it is provisioning okay 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 and from here you can terminate or delete your database tools once it is done we will come here and we'll open the oracle apex over here hmm hmm providing still providing And uh, just imagine if you compare this uh, time frame with your hardware arrangements and all those things, you don't need to do that. Uh, creating purchase orders to buy hardware, servers, etc. Then it's commissioning, data center, and all those. So cloud, I I really prefer uh, for certain developments. You can, you must use. I will say, because spending time and. Uh, money and resources see it is available right so uh, our apex installed or you can say autonomous install now it is available and now you will have different options over here database actions you can see please initialize db actions 
initializing okay let us let it be done uh, no 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 wait refresh let me refresh because just it is up so we'll see what are the options available for you there no it is still not done wait okay these are the different actions create clone administrator password you can change from here and different options over there add tag restart stop uh, scaling we will not be doing any scaling database connection these are the connection details if you have to connect remotely as well and then we have the tools and in the tools you will be clicking or open apex remember that admin password please that is the password which we said apex underscore up to seven so now if you see here uh, this is your name if, if you remember we had put it the name apex demo so it will come here the database name so better to keep uh, that name as per your standards or uh, requirements. So let me see if this is back or not. Still not. Database section, let's see what it will show this time. I will not close it. Mm. Ah, it is just opening okay password a p e x underscore one two three four five six seven please create your own don't try to log in over here because i will be just terminating this instance immediately after this session and sign in to administration so very first thing you will have to do that is to create a workspace in your apex this is how it is right i will not be exploring over here today at least in this video out of scope so this is cre create workspace you can create workspace over here a new schema of course this will be a new schema <clears throat> so workspace name let's say for example uh, i will say apex mm, zero one and here admin and same i will put the password apex apex always keep note of your password because you might forget after some time and this especially saving in the chrome it also you know sometimes you forget as well you don't remember and if you are logging from some other place and you will make wrong attempts and then it might lock as well okay uh, this will create our workspace and we will log into the workspace just to show you uh, all the steps that's it it is there and uh, it is created workspace is created right login build your application I will just click over here right apex admin and uh, apex and let me click this this is the beauty of cloud just imagine so at the same time pray there will be no rain otherwise your data might <laughs> be wet uh, just kidding so uh, this is how you can use oracle cloud oracle autonomous database um, for learning or uh, training purposes, you can use this uh, always free, but for production, for sure, you don't need that. You will have to buy the services of Oracle Cloud and your account is ready. You can start your development within no time, right? Create new application. Thank you very much. Please share your feedback in another video. Jazakallah khair, Allah Hafiz.